Greetings, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking in Conversation with your host, Home Chef Nick. Or Ramesh, that's my first name, but you can call me Nick. Right here is my nickname. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a fabulous, sexy, and devastatingly gorgeous cast for me today. So, <laughs> ladies, would you like to introduce yourselves? Sure. sure. Alright, I'm Tanya. I'm Stella. Really? Stella? <laughs> I'm Robbie. And I'm Mariama. <laughs> ladies, thank you for joining me today. Today's going to be a special show because we have a birthday on the show today. Yes! Birthday. So, toast for the birthday girl. For the Cheers. birthday girl! Cheers! <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to have a nice menu today. So, I prepared ahead a smoked duck that I did on the grill earlier today. We're also going to have lobster egg rolls. And inside lobster egg rolls, we're going to have caviar. Okay, they go along with the lobster egg rolls. I'm also going to make a reduction sauce for the smoked duck. We're going to do um, zucchini books. And it's going to be a straight vegetarian uh, appetizer, OK, yes. with the books. And last but not least, we're going to do salmon stuffed with some crab meat. Mm. Nice. Yeah, yummy. So without any further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get started. But I know my guests want to eat something right now, so I prepared a little something for them to have something to munch on right quick. It's pink pineapple with a little tajin. What is our conversation today, ladies? We are going to talk about traveling and relationships. Traveling and relationships. Oh, that sounds pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Who wants to go first? We'll talk about traveling and the relationships. Well, I'll go first. I'm traveling to Jamaica tomorrow. Oh. A friend of mine is turning 50. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So we're going to be celebrating in Montego Bay. Thank you. Oh, my, my, my homeland. Thank you. Your homeland? <laughs> so is it your first time to Jamaica? No. How about you? No, that's one of my favorite places to go. Me too. Really? We already know you, man. <laughs> How long are you away? A week. Oh, oh wow. yes. That's a vacation. That's a vacation. Um, Christmas. Jamaica and Mexico are always like a good time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm always down to go to Mexico or Jamaica. But I'm, I've never been to Jamaica as a tourist. Mm -hmm. Like without family. So I would like to go with friends or something. Mm -hmm. Just to. Have a good time. Really? Mm -hmm. I haven't been in a while, so I'm due to go back. Mm -hmm. But definitely one of my favorite places to go, for sure. So why is it one of your favorites? Why is it one of my favorites? Yeah. Um, I mean, you have so many other islands in the Caribbean. I know. Yeah, I would right. live there. Honestly, if I, I would live there, for sure. But it's one of my favorites because the people, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, you know, food is the fun. food is good. It's very affordable to live there. So I definitely would live there for sure. And you might meet the same boat. Maybe. Probably or, not. Or, uh, <laughs> what, was his, what, was the, what was the guy's name that's called? Dexter? What was his name? Oh my god. You don't want a Dexter. Mm -hmm. Why not? Wasn't he gay? Yeah. Was he gay in the movie? No, but he came out that he was. Oh. Uh -huh. That was later on though. Wait, what? Yeah, after the yeah. marriage. news to me. After the marriage. Yeah. Oh. oh, the actual man, the yeah. real life man. Uh, yeah, the real life man. No, I was like, what's, 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 what's the character? The character, character was great. What's his yeah. name? Um, wasn't it? Was it Tay Diggs? Yes. He was the actor. Yeah, he was the actor. That's what I thought you guys were talking about. Oh, the no, real no, life no, person. Now, no, no, you like know, if Tay Diggs was gay, he hurt a lot of people's feelings. <laughs> so I've been before, so it's not like, um, they are playing me, so you're just asking the question. Mm -hmm. But I've been before, so it's not like, uh, yeah. No. Mm -hmm. um, but I had a question for you ladies. Um, mm -hmm. Jamaica is everybody's go-to in the Caribbean, but it's, like you said, there's so many other Caribbean islands. Right. Mm -hmm. So, you guys need to be more broad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but 
Like right. my mom's from Barbados, so I've yeah, been there. Too. And I've always wanted to go there. But to me, it's no different than Jamaica. Really? Uh, Maybe that's why I want to go. And weather. Hmm. So the place I want to go to, like I, I have to go there before I leave this world. Is Trinidad. Yes. Ooh, now you know what? My family's from Trinidad. Of, I regret Your not family? going to Trinidad. Yeah, my dad is. My dad grew up from Port of Spain in Trinidad. Oh, yeah. And we did a family reunion mm -hmm. in Trinidad to meet the family. And that was my first time. Well, myself and my brothers. I have two brothers. Mm -hmm. And that was our first time actually ever going to Trinidad, ever. And I drank more in two weeks than I did in six months. <laughs> I want to be there. <laughs> I really want to be so there. So you want to go for the carnival? I would love to go for carnival, yeah. but I want to go in general, but I would love to go for carnival. Well, what's so hot about it? I mean, their carnival is great, I hear. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's the bottom but from what I, I hear. I think it's the, I don't know. I've never been to it, but I think it's the best out of all of them. So, what was your basement on? <laughs> what I see, yeah. what I see. So you've seen all the islands, uh, Not yeah, all, but most of them. I feel like at this point it's the most commercial. It's the most I commercial. Yeah. I, I wish I had went years and years ago before everybody and their mom started to go. Mm -hmm. And I was young and snatched so I could be naked mm -hmm. in a glittery bra. <laughs> yeah, so have you, anyone ever participated in it? I, I jumped in carnival before. Yeah, yeah. I've been to one. one. Which one? In Barbados. Okay. Oh, you were dressed up? Yeah. So you were next to, next to nothing? Uh-huh. <laughs> what about you? I've been to Carnival, but I've not jumped into the parade. I jumped in, in Boston. Really? Yeah. I jumped Hold in up. Boston. Where? Boston? Yeah. Boston has one? Yeah. This, uh, this mad curb. I'm from Boston. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of West Indians in Boston. You know what? And they, the Main Street, they shut down for Carnival. For Carnival. I was mm -hmm. born in Boston. Really? Oh, wow. What yeah. part of Boston? Yeah. Quincy, Massachusetts. Ah, okay. So not Boston. Not Boston. <laughs> Quincy. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Bless your heart. That's a good comeback. Uh -huh. <laughs> How about you? Have you? Um, I haven't. I haven't dressed up, but I've been to um, Juve. Mm -hmm. I haven't played mass, so no. Mm -hmm. But I have gone to carnival mm -hmm. but without the costume. It's on my bucket list stuff. Mm -hmm. So what's ever the bucket list is to jump in or yeah, jump in or attend a carnival and jump into the parade. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what's your but bucket? no, your bucket list travel, travel wise. Oh, travel wise. I'm sorry. Um, hmm. I'm going to say Disney again. Disney? Disney. Yeah, that's on my bucket list. Girl, that's easy. I know, it is easy. Um, but that you asked, and so, and I got Dubai. Okay. So get ready for the house, like. I know. Ooh, I'm going to get there. And Paris, I'm sorry. Go ahead. My bucket list travel. Definitely train that control, but the place I really want to go to, and I'm trying to make it happen soon, is yeah, yeah, that's, that's another. another. That's another. So we've, <laughs> I've been to Thailand before. Mm -hmm. And Thailand and Dubai, like I was telling you, were 18 hours. That was a long flight. Yeah. For two different trips. Yeah. Oh, okay. Trips. I mean, I've flown to South Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. That's on my bucket list, too. Yeah. So, travel hack. When you're going to Dubai, right? Mm -hmm. The initial tickets for business class and for first class are like 10000 or more. However, 48 hours before the flight, mm -hmm. they'll give you business class. Eight hundred. Yeah, but who's gonna but who's gonna risk that? But who's gonna risk forty eight hours like not having a flight forty eight hours before you want to leave? So I spent time overseas uh, mm -hmm. for DOD mm -hmm. and traveling back from Afghanistan. We sometimes do commercial flights. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, okay. And with that, uh, it's Emirates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. So we all I love that we all will uh, take yes. Emirates. And 48 hours before it's time for us to do wheels up and get on the plane and go, we check Emirates, mm -hmm. we check the flight status, and we put in our money for the upgrade, and we got in every single time. Mm -hmm. So never been a full, That's never a, been a chance where the flight is full. No, not for, not for business class and first class. But let me let me explain why. Business class and first class, the initial initial tickets are around ten thousand and up. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you know that. Yeah. But 48 hours in advance, they try to fill it up. They try to fill it up. Yeah. So that 10,000 comes down to 800, 900, 1,000, whatever, That's right? Just be, just be first one in line yeah. to get it. Mm -hmm. And that way you can have you in 
a nice, a nice seat on a long flight. And they always tell me they have great service already. So I can imagine what you say, the food's good. Okay, and you said the the uh, flight I always judge airlines by the flight attendants and Oh yeah, it, it they is. are like yeah. you ever see them? In the, I can see them in the airport all together. It's just like y'all fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they got the little mm -hmm. hats and you know everything. This looks so good. So, so we didn't get to you. Um. So yeah, I would like a little bit of South Africa. It'd be nice to take some time off and just like this trip. Yeah. yeah this what I've seen, you know, they get really excited when Black Americans come mm -hmm. to Africa and they're like interested in their culture, in the culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I would love to go and just be present. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, dark. They look. They look like Jamaica. Mm -hmm. They were dark skinned. They just spoke Spanish, mm -hmm. and they were just like so surprised to see us there. Mm -hmm. I don't think many people come to the island, they stay, you know, in Cartagena. Yeah. Yeah. And we just spent time in Cartagena because, you know, we wanted to, like, act up. <laughs> but it was nice to be, like, remote. It was, like, you know, chickens. Mm -hmm. We had this little area to ourselves. We brought groceries and liquor. Mm -hmm. And there was two guys there to cook all the food. It was, like, fishermen going by. Like, we ate everything fresh. When we had, like, coconut rice, we, like, climb a tree and get the coconut and, like, Break the coconut, make this food. The, the guy would come by in his boat, we'd get like fish and lobster, and it was so cheap. Oh, really? Yeah! And that's how we ate. We would make this coffee and like, you know, whatever in the morning, eggs, dumplings, whatever you wanted to eat. And it was just, that was, that was my vibe. Like, I, I like that we did get, to, get a chance to like party, but I was so, because. We, to me, we are the party. So yeah. we brought the liquor right. to that spot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We, you know, had a little pool. We like had our little speaker, and I felt like there was like six of us. So we had a great time, mm -hmm. you know. So it was a nice balance. I would definitely go back to Colombia. It was a great time. I would, right. want, I would want to know some Spanish though, because I, I think it enhances. The yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> where you where you can speak their language mm -hmm. and one of. Um, one of my friends speaks Spanish, so mm -hmm. she like, that definitely changed the game for us. Yeah. Like, I want to go to places where, you know, I mean, we're everywhere, but where there's brown people, mm -hmm. and I want to like take cooking classes and stuff. But I would definitely go to like when I go to Thailand, I definitely want to learn how to make some like authentic Thai food. I love Thai food. That just made me think. Of so if you travel to like Thailand or these uh, like Asian countries, how adventurous are you with the food? Mm. Now mind you, the food is going to be better over there anyway. It's going to be more fresh. Right. Well, I'm talking about not knowing what it is or? Yes. Um, no, I need to know Sometimes you is. can't ask. <laughs> right. Uh-huh. I need to know. All right, so. I mean, I've, eat, I've, like, bug. I've, I've eaten crickets before. They don't taste like anything. They just taste like whatever you eat. Just something crunchy. Yeah. Really? It, it was my mind making me feel like, <clears throat> but when I put it in my mouth, I was like, uh, was it a low taste? taste? Zero taste. It, it was like, um, I actually had it at, uh, what's his name? Chef Andre's uh, restaurant, uh, Oyamel. Mm. Oh, that's up to uh, I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> a juicy bun? Anyone else?
What did she do? All these. Mm-hmm. And ate good. No responsibilities. Got in her, got her little tub and her, you know, villa and got mm-hmm. massages. And that's a nice little yeah, relaxing like exactly. situation. Yeah. I'm with that. Mm-hmm. I could do that. I can understand why people would not do that. But yeah, yeah I think I need a little bit of when I, when I travel. Mm-hmm. So all this traveling, ladies, what about traveling solo? Are we going solo? Are you going with a group of girlfriends? How you so all feel about solo trips? I want to travel. I, I want to do a solo travel. I want to so bad. You should. Yeah, but I'm, you know. Which is scared. I want to get murdered. Okay, they could have. Okay. You're not stupid. You okay. can get murdered here. Okay. Right. So, somebody who used to work for the Department of Defense, I'll tell you, we were always told to check the State Department's website mm-hmm. ahead of time for travel. Because uh, because you have to register with the, tra- with the State Department to let them know where you're going to be at. As a U.S. citizen, they have the authority to come and get you and get you out. Mm-hmm. Okay? If it's, you register. If you register with them so they know where you're at, right. and you're going to be in a place that potentially will have a conflict going on or might have a conflict to happen while you're there, mm-hmm. they will come and get you and get you out of country. Mm-hmm. Okay? That is the State Department's mission. Mm-hmm. So they have people, they partner with intelligence agencies, they partner with the military, Marines, Special Forces, whatnot. Depending on where you're at, they will come and get you. Okay? I mean, and there's so many people that are doing that now that have the safer. The first thing going to do. You know, I would do a solo trip though. I would. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you do a solo trip abroad or like like Rod is playing it safe? No, I can play safe. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I might not. Because I initially I said when I wanted to do Thailand, um, I was like, I'm gonna do that. But then my my, my uncle talked me out of it. He was like, no. Don't go to Thailand by yourself. That's what he said. Mm. So, like, you know, my only thing about going by yourself, you know how we are planning a trip, mm-hmm. but then somebody is going to fall off. Mm-hmm. So that's what makes you want to travel by yourself mm-hmm. because people are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's also very liberating about. though. I I felt I didn't. It's not like I didn't feel nervous, and my mom was totally like not into it, but I was wrong, so I went, mm-hmm. and it was awesome. And you'll do it again. And I would do it again. All right. Go right ahead. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Would you plan a trip solo? Girl, please. I have gone on about 12 cruises solo. All the cruises I've been on have been about seven to five, well, between five and seven day cruises. Mm-hmm. And most of those cruises I had a either a balcony or a VIP. Mm-hmm. You on vacation splurge. Feel like you feel like you won't be good. Also, I you feel know. like when you're tra- when you're I don't know about if you're a man, but when you're a woman traveling solo, people hook you up. Yeah. Like I if I that. if I was smarter, baby, I could have been a kept woman in Italy. Ooh, <laughs> maybe, maybe take a All right. Here are you, here are your zucchini boats. Okay. okay. Now okay. you said now what's the? I'm gonna let you taste it in a second. Is that chicken? No, 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 no. For ladies and gentlemen of Homemade Food and Land, here are the zucchini boats. You have a special ingredient, which I put in, topped with, uh, also included with mushrooms and topped with cheddar cheese. Mm-hmm. It's now going to go on the oven. Same. Because I've seen a lot of people going and they seem and to. It's not cold in Iceland. I know, and they seem to it's have cold had a good Greenland. time. It's cold in Greenland. Mm hmm. I definitely want to see the, what, uh, the, uh, the, the, lights. the northern lights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That seems like really nice. Mm. That's vegan. So, do tell. So you have red onions in it, right? Mm-hmm. You get mushrooms in there, and you have enough beyond that. Oh. Mm-hmm. As long as you season it properly, you can make beyond meat or any other of the other plant-based meats. Taste just like, like just like me. Mm-hmm. You just have to season the hell out of it, mm-hmm. and I mean season the hell out of it. Mm-hmm. So, ladies and gentlemen, we just learned our, our secret ingredient. It is the beyond meat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, food and land. Here you go. Mm-hmm. Not to cut you. Oh no! Uh-huh. Are we having a hot one night stand? Mm-hmm. On this, uh, <laughs> on this vac- on this vacation, possible, possibly. Yeah. My only one night stand was on vacation. 
Oh, okay, do tell. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to know. <laughs> I don't know if I want the internet to know. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're working what were the circumstances? I was in Mexico. Mm. He was not Mexican, though. <laughs> <laughs> that was the next one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he was not. He was not. He was also on vacation from a whole different country. Mm. And uh, I was with my friend, and... She was like really egging me on. So I was like, no, no. Um, and he was completely different than any guy that I ever attracted to. Mm -hmm. But I just had like a bucket moment. Right. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, on your bucket list. <laughs> so, yeah, you had a one night stand. Did you get his number? Why would I do that? <laughs> this defeats the purpose of what I stand. There was like, like I said, you live a whole other country. There wasn't like a. We not even hang out again. Not even in the no, US. yeah. Oh. So could the friendship have maintained though? There was no friendship. It was just bang. Yeah. So that was the mm. purpose stated, or that I mean, how did y'all? I mean, how did you well, know? Was it a conclusion or what? Yeah. How did you, did you go in and saying this is just going to be for this time? I think it was understood. Okay. It was like it was an attraction. Well, actually, <laughs> it was just the moment. It was the moment. Yeah. And too scared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I guess like at the resort, it's like we're. Know, I'm not going to someone's house and not right. going to my house. You know, mm -hmm. it, was just, it just felt like more safe for some reason. Mm. But in college, you have more nice stands. No, we're talking about out of the country. Nice it was stands. like being out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry if I threw us off. Okay, on that note. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am working on the reduction sauce for our smoked duck right now. In this pot, as you see, I had put in a couple things. There was some water. I also put in some wine. This wine was Zinfandel. I also put in some blackberries and some blueberries as well. And along with a little bit of orange sauce. So, I'm letting it simmer. And once it's finished simmering and whatnot, and it's getting all of that goodness together. I'm going to go ahead and separate it out so it's just a sauce left. And this sauce we use just for the duck. Mm. Okay. I'll let you taste it momentarily. Okay. So next up, we're going to work on the salmon. Mm -hmm. But in order to make the salmon, I'm going to make a little, I'm going to turn this into a crab cake mixture. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the salmon, open it up a little bit so it'll be stuffed. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be broiled. Nice. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, so. Anybody else one day stand? No, I can't say that I have. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? Would you, though? Um, I would. I'm yeah. not I'm saying I'm opposed to it, but I just haven't. Um, it's not your steel, though. It hasn't occurred. The opportunity hasn't, <laughs> no, the it hasn't arrived. Oh, that's what it is. My bad. My bad. <laughs> it has to be. Has to, everything has to align. It has to, everything yeah. has to align. Yeah, yeah. Everything feel safe and, you know, safe. I would say, I would say, it is. like you say, as, as long as everything aligned up, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say one day. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so relationships. Mm -hmm. Went from one night stands to relationships. Uh -huh. What's, um, first, let's start with what's everyone's relationship status? Single. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's say situation. Okay. <laughs> you single. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do, you claim, do you claim them? Yes, Robbie. Um, yes. Uh -huh. uh, that's, why, that's why I said situation. Okay, okay. She's she's situation. Situation. <laughs> <You're talking about laughs> situation. I like that. Uh -huh. Situation. Okay. Mm -hmm. You want to share what does that word mean? That's right, well, let's a new go word around. for me. Let's go well, yeah, let's okay. Come on back there. I'm single. Are we pulling a Jada on this one? I'm just asking. Oh, wow. <laughs> What's a Jada? Really? I don't know what a Jada is either. She I know the situ uh, situation. Oh, Jada Pinkett. Yeah. Oh, Jada Pinkett. Mm -hmm. What's that but situation? But I'm not married, though. So. No, yeah, that's not a situation. Yeah, but it's a dude married. <laughs> no, no, oh. no. I mean, Hey, you want to drink to that? <laughs> drink the whole cup. How about that? You know what? Hey, I bring it out. Okay. Two single people. Okay, Marilyn. Me? Mm -hmm. We skipped. Oh, oh, okay. oh she said single. I'm single. I'm single too. Okay. I'm in a relationship. Okay. Are you happy? Yeah. 
Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, that's, that's always the, the follow-up question. Why you happy? That's true. Because that makes I a big difference. I want to be in a relationship that life is too short to, mm-hmm. to stay in an unhappy relationship. I would not do that. But also, they're complex, so it's they not are. always black you know, and white. It's not always black and white. You can't. You I've know. seen enough, though, that I, in terms of like family and friends and you know people that I know that. I've seen how it plays out, and to me, it's not. It's, it's not, not worth it. Yeah. I would agree. Yeah, I would agree to that. Life is too short, mm-hmm. so I would agree. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I want to be happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I also feel like I deserve to be happy. Mm-hmm. So, um, I always thought I was just gonna be a rich auntie. Okay. Oh, that's about why. No, a rich auntie, a single black woman just living her best life. And that's what I thought my life would be like. That's not a bad thing. It's not. (laughs) Not a bad thing. It's not. Um, So. I feel like we're all excited. (laughs) We're all watching. We're all watching. Uh I'm just so amazed that chefs don't measure. They just mm-hmm. know the right amount to put in. Mm-hmm. Some of us do when it when it matters. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so if it was a cake, definitely I am measuring yeah. when it comes to a cake. Baking mm-hmm. is a whole different story. Baking is science. Yeah. I saw my pastor yesterday. You did? How was that? Oh, it was wonderful, man. Um, so Martha, right? Um, so I paid for the VIP ticket for to see Martha. But it wasn't just a VIP to see Martha alone. It was like we had Where we had, was she, like what kind of event it, was it? It was the, the DC um Metro mm-hmm. Cooking. Mm-hmm. So you had private chefs all over the whole venue in the convention center. Mm-hmm. Um Martha was there in the morning. So we had mimosas with Martha first thing in the morning. So everybody was, everybody was like, you could tell the, the person how you wanted your mimosa. He mixed it for you, you know, how you wanted it. Mm-hmm. One person said, I just want coloring. Uh-huh. Right. A little message. Right. That, and that's exactly what he did. He was like, okay. <laughs> you know, and then Martha, Martha came out and she had her drink too and whatnot. And, but she, she took one drink. She was like, oh no, just give, just give me water. <laughs> so apparently, whatever he drank, whatever he mixed, he like, Mm-mm, it wasn't good enough for Martha. Martha uh-huh. was like, no, this is too strong. Mm. So, but we, we had like um, mimosas in conversation with Martha, asked her questions and whatnot. And she, you know, she answered and stuff. Then she signed our books. She she was giving away um, to the VIPs her 99th book mm. of desserts and whatnot. Mm. So it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um, then we got the, the first two rows were reserved for the VIPs. So you, when she did her cooking demonstration one of, of baking and stuff, you got to sit in the first two rows, which was awesome actually. Mm-hmm. And it's like wow, okay, there's Martha, yay! Mm-hmm. So it was good because I had never seen Martha cook before, and she had told us in the uh, in, in the private lounge that you know she really does like like she does not like to do live because when you do live you need to be on your p's and q's at every single moment right and if banking you, is not a thing. if you, you mess, mess up, up if you mess up play it off and make and make it look funny mm-hmm. you know that, that, that's what she said you know since she said nine times out of ten they just make it look funny mm-hmm. you know and one person said uh asked her a question what is, what was your the hardest thing you've done during filming or whatever right for the shows she said what we do editing <laughs> that was a, that was a response. We do editing. There is none. We control all the outcomes. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. so we don't do live shows. It may oh, seem true. live. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's Even when there's a live audience, mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. audience is live, but the show is live. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Okay. That you makes know, sense. so that would make pretty sense to me. So I was like, wow. Okay. Cool. We good. Mm-hmm. So it was just good to, to, to see her take on things. Mm-hmm. And then somebody asked her, "Do you?" Um, tell your menus to people, right? Who have this or have that and whatnot. She's like, that's boring. Why do that? This is I'm a bitch. Ah. <laughs> and you know what? Somebody um, somebody had to point out to me that it's a double standard when it comes to men and women in the cooking industry. Mm-hmm. Men can do this and get away with it. Yeah. And, they're, and they're called a hero. Women do it, they're called a bitch. Mm-hmm. So Martha's like, I'm a bitch. Yeah. But, but she's doing the exact same thing a man would do. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I'm, I just laughed. I thought it was funny. You know, because she wants it a certain way and a certain standard because that's her brand. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, 
And if it's not that way, I'd be mad too, you know. But also the VIP ticket, you also got to do, they had barbecue. So they had barbecue for like 12 or 3, and you had, you had, that was extra. But if you pay VIP, you got that. Mm -hmm. And if you pay VIP, you also got the beer and wine garden. Mm -hmm. And they gave you 15 drink tickets. I want some of the vendors and I had my VIP <laughs> pass on. What? Yeah, they gave me 15 drink tickets. Oh my God. 15? Well, I didn't use all 15, because I was like, I gotta drive home. Mm -hmm. I need to be somewhere. <laughs> You don't want to die. Uh -huh. <laughs> Look, some of, them, some of those vendors didn't even take my drink ticket. Ooh. I was like, here you go. Just pouring samples, huh? Let me tell you something. Those were some good samples. Mm -hmm. They were some generous samples. Mm -hmm. And I, I liked it. I enjoyed myself. Mm -hmm. That was one of those times I actually, you know, I was like, you know what? If I, if I had a boo, I might have to spend that six hundred dollars and, and get us both tickets for that one. Ooh, that sounds like a fun time. Yeah, get an Uber. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. I mean, I had a good time, but even though it was just me, so um, I they had a DJ in the uh, the wine and beer garden and whatnot, and I saw a couple ladies over there dancing. I went over there, I was like, and I started I started hand dancing, mm -hmm. you know, and um, let's see what else and. I saw a friend of mine I hadn't seen in about eight years, mm -hmm. so that was, that was actually pretty cool. And um, I I went to all the vendor booths and whatnot, and I had signed up for one, one session, but I was like, all oh, the hell with it, I'm, I'm drinking anyway, I ain't going. Because mm -hmm. I signed up for the knife session. That's the last thing you want to do when you're drinking. Mm -hmm. Right, yes. Oh, you know, oh, nice. you know. Oh, God. Messing with that. Uh -huh. and, and see, I, I read what the, the show, the, the course was, because it, it was a two hour course with knives. So they wanted you to be able to cut certain things a certain way and do certain, certain things a certain way with certain knives. And I was like, I'm drinking. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me with white knives right now, that's not a good look. Mm -hmm. mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> so I was like, okay, so I, I walked around and I, I went to this one place that had mambo sauce. And it says spicy on it. And the person was like, are you sure you want that? I said, I'm Trini. I can handle spicy. Uh -huh. And it was like, oh, well, this may not be for you then. Uh, so it wasn't really spicy. Right. That's what I was thinking. Uh -huh. So I was like, just give me the spicy. And she gave me a tater tot to put in. I was like, okay. After, then I was like, I'll put my, my pinky in it. It's like, this ain't spicy. Y'all said, y'all mislabeled that damn bottle. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She said, she, she said, well, that's some weak ass shit. I said, that's some weak ass shit. Uh -huh. But she said it first, though. Uh -huh. I was like, that's some weak ass shit, man. No ting at all? Nothing. Wow. <laughs> they put some black pepper in there. Was like, right. No right. spicy. Nothing. Uh -huh. and nothing. Uh -huh. Trinity came out. <laughs> so I, uh, so I ended up, because you know they were black on, I actually bought a couple bottles because I was like patronizing them because they need black on. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I did patronize. Because as you know, that's what we do. We, we, need, to, we need to patronize, you know, each other minorities other. and yes. each other, you know. Yep. Because if we don't take care of each other, who else will? Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, but that was a Trini uh, vendor with some Trini hot sauce. I bought four bottles. Oh, okay. Girl, that had a spice to it. I was, I was like, I was so like, so like <laughs> well, I was like, okay, I got some sweat on my brow. I'm good. I said, yeah, this, this is definitely trending. Uh -huh. I'm taking this right here. I said, give me four bottles. I need a bag. Just give me four bottles. Okay. Put, 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 put it right here in my bag. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love hot sauce. Oh, that's the thing that's that we, all, we always collect when we go places. Uh -huh. Hot sauce. Yes. Ooh, oh, you put it on most of the things you eat or uh -huh. just the collection? Yeah. That's a lot. Hey, it's a taste. It's a taste. Oh, okay. It's not like I'm serving you dinner right now. I'm trying not to get pulled up on right. <laughs> <laughs> I want to eat oh, You want to eat the food? Come on now. But I, I got to give you a good, a good tasting. Okay. So the birthday girl goes first. Oh, thank you. Ladies. Gonna work. So do you just eat leftovers all week? 
<laughs> pretty much, yeah. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> okay. You like that? Mm -hmm. Alright, so we have a smoked duck. You have the zucchini boats. Mm -hmm. You want to have a stuffed salad. Mm -hmm. And you have one more thing I want to do for you. Okay. 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 And that's probably the easiest thing I should have done. I should have done it first, but I just drew it out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to elevate a cracker. <laughs> I was gonna ask a question, but I'ma wait. Uh, be quiet. Be quiet. Really? What is it again? Seems say elevate a cracker. Oh, good. Yes. Okay. I have gourmet make crackers. Mm -hmm. I like a gourmet cracker. So, in the gourmet crackers, mm -hmm. you can mm -hmm. have either one you want. Mm -hmm. Butter. Okay. Okay. I'll take green. All right. Which one you want? Which one you want? we're gonna do. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna do the stuffed salmon mm -hmm. next, right? Mm -hmm. Follow up by the appetizer on the crackers, and then we'll get to the lobster egg rolls next. Mm. Okay. Okay. And then our guest of honor, our birthday girl. <laughs> We'll let her see if she, see if she can um, replicate what I do. Okay. I, I know a little bit about the kitchen. I got, little, I, got little, I got little skills. Let me see. I'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. All right. So, in the salmon, you want to make sure you cut a groove in there. Okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So while he's doing that, ladies, what is your relationship? We both have to bring equal things to the table. I'm not gonna say one over the other, but we about to bring equal things to the table. You know what? You remind me of one of my, one of my friends I know mm -hmm. because she says it's like almost almost the same thing you just said just then. You know, sometimes you're not there. You know, of course, the way I worded it to my guests was like, you know, come for your vacation. <laughs> like this plan is as your vacation for your year for the year. Ooh, wow. So here's your salmon. Yeah, okay. good. Ladies and gentlemen, food of land. You now have your salmon with your um, your stuffed crab cake. It looks really good. Like right. Trusting and believing. Mm -hmm. And keep asking. Yeah. <laughs> over and over again. Over and over again. Right. That's what I always answer. tell my friend. Ask, ask especially man. Ask mm -hmm. them a few times at different stages. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you'll get more. You'll get more answers as time goes on. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say um, trust my gut more. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Cause sometimes you you see those red flags and mm -hmm. you just yeah. overlook them, mm -hmm. and you just want to just say, hey, I don't want to date again because this this is number two or mm -hmm. number three or whatever. You know, based on what other people, how other people make you feel. Mm -hmm. Um, you just stick it out just because because you just don't want to have to introduce anybody else to mm -hmm. family or whatever. So just trust in gut and the heart will <coughs> always show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mom. Um, I would say be aware of. Mm, I got a lot of things. I would say be aware of baggage. Mm. Pay, pay attention to the signs of baggage and how they handle it mm -hmm. um, because it can definitely manifest in other ways for sure. Um, that's definitely a big thing. And of course, I mean, everyone's always going to say this, but communication mm -hmm. for sure. If a person doesn't know how to communicate mm -hmm. correctly, it's hard to change that. It's hard to change that. And it's going <laughs> to cause so many issues. Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to throw this out here for you. Communication. Ladies, have you found that, you know, I'll, I know they always say we're all different, mm -hmm. you know. Men are from Mars. And yeah. women are from Venus. Mm -hmm. However, have you found it challenging um, when you're dating or in a relationship for the communication? No matter how much you restate or um, text or write a note, it just seems the interpretation is um, different. 
I feel like I have to learn how to communicate, communicate. Mm-hmm. because sometimes the thing that you're mad about is not the the real, the real issue, issue. Mm-hmm. right? Right? Mm-hmm. Like you you might be mad that you know with the toilet seat up. Right. <laughs> something. Really? Or... That is an issue. It can't be. Oh, it is. That's what it is. This mm-hmm. person always does this or doesn't do that, but you know, people are raised differently. They're good. There's certain things don't bother think people the True. way they bother you. True. And sometimes if you're upset about something, it may not be this specific thing. It may be like, in general, I feel like I'm pulling more weight mm-hmm. in the home mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. in another area mm-hmm. or you don't feel heard or seen in a certain mm-hmm. way. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like I had to learn how to feel my feelings, if that makes right. sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That makes sense. Perfect girl. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Like, what, if, what am I actually feeling? So mm-hmm. that I can then say, this thing got on my nerve, but I, I sat with him, I feel like I really would like you to do X, Y, Z. I think, you know, you. For, yeah. for men, I haven't been in a relationship with women but i feel like a woman deserves clear clear communication as well but if you can say like what you would like to happen true i just wonder if i got a crack oh (laughs) that comes next you'll you'll see what i'll do with with that one this this is the sauce Mm -hmm. put it up put it up what I, what I, what I, birthday girl, would you like to be first? <laughs> oh, she set you up. She set you up. I figured she was ready to share. She set you up, man. I, I want to take that. She set I you up. I just want to say, honestly, I would say I have been more interested. I will, you know, I, that's, I'm going to leave it right there. <laughs> oh, so, so you eating bad boys now? And, and you ain't even going to get other brothers? Is that what it is? Is that, is, that, is that the um? No, it has nothing to do with bad boys. <coughs> you lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Here is your salmon stuffed with a crab cake, ladies and gentlemen, home in Foodie Land. Here you go. Thank you, darling. Okay, so now we have one, two, three back there. Okay, so next up. Would you like to taste the shrimp first before it goes on to the elevated cracker? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. So what's y'all uh, dream, dream relationship, your, your like ideal situation? I just need one shrimp. I can't, I can't do more. I know, I'm going to get full. Just, right. just one, please. Really? Uh-huh. You watching your figure? No, I just want to be able to eat the rest of uh-huh. the, all of it. She didn't tell you how this goes. Uh-huh. You told us, but you know, yes. thank you. You're welcome. I know how my uh, my stomach. Oh no, you're the birthday girl. Mm-hmm. No, that's enough for me. Oh lord. <laughs> <laughs> mm. There you go. Now you want another one, huh? Mm-mm. Cause I'm gonna get another one sometime soon, right? Mm. The way this cracker. Can we talk about this? I'm gonna do the crack in a second, but I want you to taste the shrimp before it goes on the crack. Oh, oh it's because it's, it's a contrast mm-hmm. in flavors. I'm gonna give you. <laughs> This good by itself, I can only imagine. Mm-hmm. 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 Did you talk about this? Did I miss that? No, I didn't talk about it at all. Oh, wow. So, since we want to talk about it, mm-hmm. I'll talk about it. Let's do it. <laughs> so, this is basically um, this is a fusion shrimp recipe. Mm-hmm. All right, so I mixed it with some berber. Mm-hmm. Berber is a uh, seasoning of a multitude of seasonings that's African. Mm. Okay, you have different flavors of, of to make this bourbon or seasoning. I also put Cajun seasoning in it as well. Okay, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and you saw me put some garlic in it, so I put the minced garlic in it as well, and a lot of butter. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's how this uh, came to be. And ladies and gentlemen, in food land, here we go. It's delicious. <laughs> It almost tastes like a little bit of curry in there. Mm-hmm. There's no curry. But it, um, it just has like a hint of mm, some sort of a curry taste a little bit. Now for the crab cake, here's what we did. Now, for the crab cake, we got panko seasoning we put mm-hmm. in for it, right? Mm-hmm. If you notice, I didn't, I didn't crack any eggs. Mm-mm. I didn't crack no eggs, okay? So we put panko seasoning. Mm-hmm. We also just minced garlic. 
horseradish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Little, little, little tang. Exactly. Uh, the, the cream and horseradish sauce. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did mayo. Mm -hmm. My mayo is my binding agent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I did tarragon. Mm -hmm. All right. And I also did. Oh uh, yes. Worcestershire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Soy sauce. Okay. All right. You saw me put obey, but you may not have seen this. This is my complete all-in-one seasoning. Mm -hmm. Okay. This stuff is good, I'm sure. So all of that went into the crab cake. Now, next up is the crackers, and then we will go to the last but not least. The lobster <laughs> egg rolls. <laughs> well, he's cooking for us. So that's Somebody else going to have to eat this other. There's no way I can eat two crackers. There's no way. Give it a shot. You know what? There's like no you, way you, you, I you can. have one for now. have one for later. Could I have one without the salmon? It's smoked salmon. It is smoked salmon, girl. Okay. Hey, look, 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 I was told this was a birthday celebration. It is. And I needed to make sure that I came correct on what I was delivering for the meals. Well, so far, so good. I'm just saying, that's what I was told. Am I, am I doing what I was told? Okay. I'm just saying. I'm just doing what I was told. I can follow orders. You know why you keep looking at me? <laughs> you must have gave orders. So she gave me orders. That's right. what she did. It's delicious for sure. That's, it's really good. Thank you. Thank you. I got a little bit of everything. What's the base? I think it's uh, guacamole. Mm -hmm. Guacamole. Yep. <laughs> guacamole. Guacamole is it. I think the drink is getting See, tight. I, I, had I had to finish that with that. Watch again. Uh, yeah. yeah. like we need to Job right now, I need an overhead camera so I can show everybody food the land what's going on. Mm -hmm. Salty? <laughs> yeah. It can be all right. No, it can be all right. Oh, that's it. Now, do you travel? YouTube? Oh, everything's at here. You do a cooking show at other people's homes? Oh, are you somewhere? Do you travel? I do. It all, it all depends on what you want me to do because <laughs> the menu <laughs> really you gotta turn away from the camera on that one. Mm -hmm. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, put the whole thing in your mouth. You lose the shrimp. Mm -hmm. put, the whole, put the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not a dainty appetite. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen in Food Land, I want you to see what, uh, what my guests are eating right now. It is a gourmet cracker. Now, on top of the gourmet, gourmet cracker, we have a guacamole topped with smoked salmon, topped with the shrimp that I made. It was a fusion shrimp. And topped with that is the caviar. I made one more. Anybody want the one? The one? Actually, Okay, see. Go ahead. I'm hungry. <laughs> this is really good. Mm -hmm. I took ordinary things mm -hmm. and I, like I said, I elevated a cracker. Mm -hmm. You sure did, for sure. Mm -hmm. The caviar is really tasty, though. It's like we're doing together. And we're doing two sheets. Ladies and gentlemen, at home in Foodie Land, we're making egg rolls. So we're wetting the corners of the egg roll sheet with nothing but our fingers. Next up, noodle. We only want a couple noodles, okay? They're long enough as it is. Right in the middle. Right in the middle, yep. Mm -hmm. What we're gonna do is, since we've already wet this one, we put pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Do that. So it's in the crease. Okay, like that. Next up, all this is is cheese, but it has seasoning in it. And some peppers and other, and other stuff in it. Okay, so. 
nice amount of cheese right there. That's actually too much cheese, actually. Next up. Salmon. Salmon. Okay. And then we will take the lobster next. See, this is a lobster tail right here, mini lobster tail. That goes in next. So we're going to put two lobster tails in there. And we'll just put one piece of shrimp in there, too, as well. So this is actually going to be a big, fat egg roll. And then we're going to put a mung bean sprout in it. Just a little crunch. Like that, okay? Take the tip right here on the side. Roll it over. Ah, there we go. Pull from the side again to this side. We grab it. And then we roll. And keep rolling. And some more water right there. Hold it over again so that. Oh. See? I didn't want to. Sound sticks? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, it didn't want to stick. There we go. So, you want to try or you want to watch me again? I think I, I think I got it. I got it. So this was layered. Right, but we don't we don't touch it. We want to lay it first. Okay. So around the, around the corners of both. Mm. I'm excited for this shrimp. <laughs> okay, I'm waiting that my edges, y'all. Excellent. Get them edges wet. Got my edges wet. <laughs> that sounds so dirty. <laughs> that just sounds so dirty. It's also inside black. Uh-huh. <laughs> so we don't get no edges wet. Ladies and gentlemen of Food Land, we're having an inside joke. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my okay. edges are wet. Now take right. that and lay it and put it in the center. It's like a double egg roll. Mm, okay. Yeah, let's get right there. Okay. We do it this way for uh, purposes of frying. Mm -hmm. okay. Noodles. Noodles first. Just just a couple strands. That's what you need. There you go. Put it, put it closer up here. Okay, so there we go. Cheese. Cheese. Only a little bit. I'll put too much. Right. On top. Yeah, right there, on top. Oh, on top. We like it on top. Do we? Caviar in it next. Oh, caviar. Okay. Just a little bit of caviar. Just a little bit. <laughs> That's good right there. Yes. All right. So next up, get you. Um, oh. Okay. Two. That's uh, whatever you want. You want it to be the lobster or the shrimp or both. This is a. Uh, so, I'll show you. This is shrimp, right? That's shrimp. Yeah. I'll do, let me do one shrimp and two lobster. That's a lobster. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to shoot the lobster. I got one. Okay. strands of the mung bean sprout. There you go. Now you need to roll it. Start with the top and just fold it over. Bring it right here. There you go. And then see it, put it, pat it down. All right. No, that's okay, we'll make up for it. This way? Yeah, break that over. Just like that. We'll fix the other part in a second. And bring the other part over. Just like that. There you go. 
and with two hands, grab both sides, right? And then roll that thing over. Mm -hmm. Just grab it, grab it like you said, like you did. Mm -hmm. And then grab it and then roll it over like this. Oh, okay. And then keep rolling. And if it doesn't seal, then put another piece of. Oh, it did seal. Yeah. Mm. It sealed. Yeah. It doesn't look as pretty, but. No, 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 no. We'll fix that. Let see. me see if I can do this. So. No, no, no. Here, here we go. There you go. Here's there the fix. Go. No, here, here's the fix. Okay. Here's the fix. Okay. Okay. All right. With the edges. I'll show you the trick to fix it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Just like that. Seal. There you go. Let go down with me. All the way over. Well, this is going to be mine. You got it. 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 It's like a little baby's diaper. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just need a safety pad. Uh-huh. There you go. There it is. See? Right. So now you have to teach us. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen in the home and in the food land, let me show you how the egg roll turned out. Here you go. Beautiful. Yay. These are the lobster egg rolls. This concludes our portion of the tasting. We're now going to move to the dining room and have our formal plating. So take a pause of the calls and we'll see you in the dining room. <laughs> or just top them up regularly. Mm -hmm. And that mm. usually is a good. That's good mm -hmm. Mushrooms on. Use Worcestershire sauce, soy sauce. Mm. Um, Season it like meat. It's not the same, obviously, but mm -hmm. neither is. Yeah. This thing is good. If y'all like some fire to my mouth, <laughs> <laughs> you've done a very good job. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, who said grace? We did. Oh, we did. Okay, I'll say more grace then. Oh, okay. Thank you, God, for Nick. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. This is very nice. Thank you for coming oh, and us. Thank oh, you. You're welcome. What a great host. Food is beyond Delicious. five star. So this is what which we we'll call chef's table. Oh. They call it the chef's table. Mm -hmm. Okay. When you know you sit the chef and the chef makes his own thing. Mm -hmm. That would be our place. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh my gosh. Sure. What? That is so good. Mm -hmm. I know you're looking at me. Ooh. The whole thing didn't go in my mouth. You didn't try hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, hit me the plate. I'll, 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 I'll get one. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Who gonna remember that recipe? Come on, why don't you have caviar? No, no, it's great. Did you take mm -hmm. a picture of it? Mm. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's right here. Come on, one bite, Nick. You can't do it, though. He's not deep throating. <laughs> <laughs> He's not deep throating. <laughs> Opening wide. Oh, He's right. on deep throat. Right. Right. Open right. Mm -hmm. mm. That was bomb.com. Damn. It was. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And that seasoning on the shrimp. Two different shrimp. Two different seasonings. Um. Mm. So. The one on the um, on the cracker, mm -hmm. that's the Cajun season. On the cracker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the one in your uh, your egg roll, that shrimp is different. That's the mm. complete seasoning. Mm, complete seasoning, but it also has the burberry in it. Oh, yeah. Mm. So, y'all try the egg roll? No. I'm going to finish this before we leave here. Which one, the plate or the drink? Just drink. <laughs> <laughs> let me let me drink my water. I'm not gonna leave the season. I can't take that to go. Mm -hmm. And then that brownie, I'm gonna have to take too. 
Wait, brownie. I thought it was um. Yes, too. It's a brookie. Margarita, uh, a brookie. Key lime. Somewhere so how's the duck? Fire. Very good. With a duck? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And duck with duck. And the sauce going on on the duck? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we still had a food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was worth it. Mm-hmm. For sure. I was all over Nick. Nick, what do you mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Chef Poirard, what do you mean? You said you wanted to have a nice meal. I mean, we did an outstanding job. We did. Mm-hmm. Definitely did. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That crack is cold. Well, that sauce is good. What's, what's good? The sauce? Yeah. We're saying a whole grain cracker right now. I do not. I have a whole grain I don't cracker. see it. We can't share that one. We can't share the grain. Mm-hmm. We can't share the grain. I do not see it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so everything I did, can it be recreated in your kitchen? Mm-hmm. You coming? <laughs> I think I could do the salmon and crab cake for sure. And the rolls. You can do the crab cake. You can do the rolls. No, that's what I'm saying. The salmon and crab cake, I definitely could do that. And the rolls. The rolls, yes. Excuse me. I've never cooked duck. I've had duck, but I've never cooked it myself. So oh. that's the only thing. No, the duck. I this is delicious. I know I can do that. Mm-hmm. But that's, yeah, that's real good. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. delicious. Mm-hmm. We'll be over. You made the guacamole. Oh, it's not like store bought, right? Uh, made everything. Yeah. 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 That's so, what I don't know. Oh, okay, empty. I'm gonna need a free I'm gonna go home. You made rule? Mm-hmm. Oh, What'd you make? I lost about an hour's time oh. for prep. I just so didn't want to get out of bed. And then I had to go to uh, Home Depot to pick up charcoal. Like so I lost an hour this morning mm-hmm. just trying to do errands and get stuff I needed. Mm-hmm. Right. If I had that hour back, no then all the stuff would have been the really good prep. Good, though. Mm-hmm. And it would have been like this. You got to tell yourself Chef Bardi. What's your name? Chef Nick or? Um, Home Chef Nick Ramprasad on uh, YouTube. That's how you find me on YouTube. Home who? Home Chef Nick Ramprasad. Ramprasad? Hmm? My last name? It's my long name. So, look on YouTube, you can find Where's me. Where's Ramprasad? Uh, in the credits. Oh, is that official? Um, so. Is that official name? So, as of today, uh-uh. the, the guy who um, did my logo, mm-hmm. my official logo, he actually finished it and sent it to me today. Mm. You didn't tell us your show. I mean, think about it. I mean, I have my official logo right now. So, on my official logo, he did two logos for me. Mm-hmm. Home Chef Nick and Home Chef Ramesh. Ramesh. I'm going with Ramesh. That's all we knew in college. For those who don't know, we went to college together. Mm. That's how I know him. I, I never tell you. You knew that, right? That I went to college with him? She was a I cheerleader. I knew him from the same area, but I didn't uh-huh. know you went to college with him. She was a cheerleader. Uh-huh. Y'all know that? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you was going to say something else. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're, what, about a year difference? About that. Yeah, different years. We graduated different. Uh-huh. Came in different times, right? And then we're from different counties, but close to each other. Mm. So, yeah. so, I've expanded. Yeah. This has happened. Where did you get this caviar from? Because I need Wagmans. some of this. Wagmans. I'm about to go there. Mm. Wagmans. So you doing that? So what do you want us to get triggered? And what about the red one? You hear me? Yeah. They're both are Wagmans. Mm. So I like that from Wagmans. Well, do not go. in the red one? No, it's, it's different flavors. But the thing about it is, though, in Wagmans, if you're looking for the caviar, that caviar, you cannot go look for it in the refrigeration aisle. Like it is in a regular aisle. Mm. In a little glass jar, like you just had it? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. One jar, we, one, one package will be pink, the other will be purple. Mm-hmm. So that's how you find it in Wegmans. And it's, and it's real easy to miss, because I went scavenger hunting one day looking for other stuff. I was like, caviar? On a shelf? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll try it. You keep it in the refrigerator? So unrefrigerated on a shelf? Yeah, but as soon as you open it, you go to the refrigerator. Yeah. 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 Hmm. So, have you ever cooked the egg roll with this caviar? Today was the first time I actually did the egg roll with the caviar inside the egg roll. I don't know why I like that the black one better, but everything's good. Because it has more flavor. Okay. It's that like sea, it tastes like the, the sea salt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tastes like the ocean. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Versus That's, the the word. That's the word I was looking for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the ocean. <laughs> the ocean. <laughs> Wow, this has been great. Mm-hmm. We're not not eating because we don't, we're not liking we're it. We're full, full mm-hmm. between the drinks. Mm-hmm. 
and the samples. I mean, so mm -hmm. don't think we're not appreciative. Well, I'm not. Right? Well, so this will be my lunch for work tomorrow. What? 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 Let, let's do a toast. Yeah, oh, and a drink. Oh. <laughs> 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 All right, to good food. To, to good, good food, food, good times. Good people, greatness. Happy birthday, <laughs> girls. Yes. Make Happy birthday. birthday. And to those in foodie, foodie land, remember, oh, dang, don't take any wooden nips. <laughs> <laughs> Have a blessed day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.